special uh, Sammy's mailbag, Sammy uh, mailbag thing today. So, first question is, uh, hi Sam, is Who's the Caboose available on DVD? Where can I purchase a copy? Thank you, Lynn. Uh, it's not available right now, Lynn, uh, but it will be eventually. We're working on it. Uh, just send me an email at samcedershow at gmail.com and I'll let you know. Next up, hey Sam, I heard you on Ring of Fire this past weekend. Your comment that there is nothing more uncomfortable than people confusing rampant imperialism with missionary work was brilliant. Oh, thank you. Uh, that was in reference to a story about how our uh, military is functioning as missionaries uh, overseas. Do you need an intern? If so, I'd like to apply. Thanks, Pamela. Well, Pamela, you're obviously a very intelligent person. I can tell by your email. <coughs> uh, I may need an intern. Uh, send me an email at samcedershow at gmail.com and I'll let you know. Next up, uh, Dear Sam, after remembering, uh, reading or hearing about the patriarchs in the Old Testament with multiple wives, my question is, when did organized Judaism do away with polygamy if it was ever officially okay? Cheers, Lenny. Uh, Lenny, that's a good question. Uh, I think uh, in the Bible, uh, the Torah, it refers to polygamy in some instances, uh, if, you're, uh, if your brother-in-law dies, or uh, if you're, uh, then you, you're responsible for his wife. My, uh, my guess is, is that uh, polygamy was semi-officially uh, gotten rid of in the rabbinic era of Judaism, which would have happened after the fall of the first temple, sometime around uh, 60 in the common era, uh, emanating out of Yavna, uh, when rabbinic Ju Judaism was born. So uh, polygamy, uh, no, people sort of shun it now. Next up, uh, Sam, can you confirm that Sean Hannity is the love child of Lou Costello? Maybe you can get him to say, hey, Abbott. Uh, I can't confirm that, actually. Uh, Sean Hannity is actually an, a an animatron who was uh, built after uh, Barney Rubble. Uh, so uh, I guess you'd want him to say like something like, Fred. Hi, Sam. One, are you okay? You seem out of sorts. Please share with the viewers what's happening with you and your family. Uh, everything's fine with my family. I've been feeling a little out of sorts. In fact, uh, you can see here, I got a blood test today because I, uh, I think I might have uh, Lyme disease because I've been tired. That also could be just because I'm not sleeping well. Uh, number two, share your gay experiences with the viewers. Who's the man you wish you were or are you completely satisfied as yourself? I'm not sure how those questions are related, but um, uh, John Benjamin used to do uh, and I used to do some gayish things on stage. I don't know if they're technically gay, but they were certainly gay implied. Uh, who is a man you wish you were? Uh, I guess I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with uh, who I am. Um, you know, independent wealth is something that I've always thought might agree with me, uh, but uh, it's not something that you can actually do. You just need to be born into that, and I don't, I don't quite have that type of, uh, of money. Uh, my dowry isn't quite that large. And uh, Sam, this is question number three. In, in uh, Illinois, our governor just halted government due to a budget impasse. It seems the only way we can get funding for essential services is to shut them down and see the consequences. What's going on in other states? Well, of course, uh, California, I think today, declared a state of fiscal emergency. Uh, they're rolling up that entire state. I don't even know if it'll exist in, uh, in a matter of weeks. It'll probably just be some type of Nevada adjunct or something like that. But states across the country right now are feeling a huge budget squeeze because revenues are down in all sorts of uh, taxes, particularly property taxes. So uh, look to see more of this. Uh, Illinois is not alone, so you should know that. Uh, I think Michigan, God knows what's going on there. And finally, this is from Joe Brad. Uh, I'm not sure what he's referring to here, but he says, you owe New Bedford an apology. Do some homework about New Bedford, and you will no longer be ignorant when it comes to New Bedford and its history. Uh, well, Joe, as a guy from Worcester, I'll tell you, uh, go fuck yourself. I don't care about uh, New Bedford. New Bedford can do all sorts of nasty things to my body, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we have a saying in Worcester, fuck you, New Bedford. We don't give a shit, and we don't apologize to you. So why don't you go bone up on Worcester, and you'll understand where I'm coming from. Until next week, folks, don't forget, breakroomlive at gmail.com if you want to send me a letter. Ah!